Now, on the other side of the ledger, of course, we've got a House committee now issuing subpoenas not just to Hunter and James Biden, but to a whole swag of Biden family associates, an art gallery dealer. I presume this is over Hunter's finger paintings that sold for suspiciously high amounts of money to people who may or may not have wanted something from the Biden family. Where does this all wind up landing, in your opinion? And do you think that there's more prima facie evidence here as a lawyer of wrongdoing by the Bidens than by the Trumps? Uh, there's no doubt about it. Everything they've accused Trump of is what the Biden family is actually guilty of. You know, they said, if you elect Trump, Trump's going to lead us into World War III. Biden's trying every means to lead us into World War III. They said, if you, you can't trust Trump and his family because they're doing secret deals with foreign governments to enrich themselves. Biden was describing himself, not President Trump. And we're seeing that in live time. I mean, they put President Trump under macroscopic, microscopic inquiry, and all they can come up with is fake cases. And uh, by contrast, it was an open secret when uh, the President Biden was Vice President Biden. There were people who approached my client saying that for the right donation to the right Biden family member, magical things could happen to their cases uh, in, in involving the Department of Justice. So this has been kind of an open secret in Washington that Biden was entire family sold access to him to enrich him and the entire family and build his political machine. And it's just about time we finally start exposing it at a meaningful level in the House of Representatives. And I think the American people are going to be shocked at the scale, scope, and severity of the corruption of the Biden family. Robert Barnes, we're going to have to leave it there, but we're going to come back to you again and talk about that scale of corruption as it emerges, if it emerges, in the weeks and months ahead. Robert Barnes, thank you so much for your time.